Tennessee's got some news, and they've had a run of good news lately in the transfer portal. Uh, this latest bit of good news, or bad news, is uh, is a little bit surprising to me. Gabe Judy Lolly, and we know D. Williams was going to go anyway because of a stupid rule that's in place that I want to get into. But let's start with Gabe Judy Lolly as uh, Vol Transfer Portal coverage brought to you by our friends at Campbell Cunningham, Taylor, and Han. Campbell Cunningham, Taylor, and Han. Enjoy life when you see better. How about that? Campbell Cunningham, Taylor, and Han. CCTIs.com. CCTIs.com. I was surprised by Gabe Judy Lolly. Were you? I was. I was genuinely shocked. And um, mm-hmm. he uh, was a very reliable utility cornerback all of last year. I, look, I'm going to say this for Gabe Judy Lolly. Maybe he's just trying his hand at the draft. Doesn't Gabe Judy Lolly seem like the type of kid that, like, he graduated with his degree. He's going to focus on a career that he got his degree in. But, you know, he's given the NFL draft a shot just to see if it works. Doesn't that t- kind of see doesn't, doesn't Gabe Judy Lally strike you as that type of guy? Yeah, kind of like Josh Dobbs. Exactly. I, mean, I, like I, Josh didn't, Dobbs. I didn't think Josh Dobbs would stick, to be honest with you. I thought he'd play three years in the NFL and then he'd be a rocket scientist. But it turns out he's stuck. But yeah, it feels like that to a lesser extent. I think it's a I think t- this is Tennessee running out of money. I mean, I think it's as simple as that. And I think he was probably in negotiations to try to get that money. And when he couldn't, um, he decided to move on. It's a hard guy to place value on. I love these guys. And I love Gabe Judy Lawley. And I I hate for Tennessee's sake that he's leaving. I remember his quote that just rang so true when he came out and he said, uh, I don't even care if I start. I'm paraphrasing. I don't care if I start. I just want to help and take this program to the next level. I thought that was amazing. And utility. Does Tennessee have anybody that's more versatile, versatile, and and the ability to play nickel corner or safety? They, I don't think they do. I don't think they do. They, maybe they're banking on that MTSU transfer Jacoby Thomas to be able to do that, but they might also just be locking him in at transfer now. Particularly with Wesley Walker was the other guy, but he's at the portal now too. And look, it, it's you wonder, Dave, if the coaches are just that high on the young talent at defensive back right now. Maybe, do you, I, look, I don't know. I thought he looked horrible against Georgia. Who? But Andre Turn, uh, and, who I'm about yeah. to name, Andre Turrentine. But Andre Turrentine did seem like something clicked against Iowa. Now, was it because he played Iowa? Or do you think something clicked? Like, that's a real debate. I think it's because he played Iowa. <laughs> I um, think so too, but. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's because he played Iowa. And the, the other thing about, uh, Gabe Judy Lawley that's um I th- I think tough to replace is is that leadership. Who's the leader in the secondary? Just in the room, in the locker room. Because I because Willie Martinez as a coach doesn't strike me as the fire and brimstone type of leader that is is going to uh to get your guys up and that sort of thing. I I, I just who's the leader right now? Going into 2024, who's the leader in that secondary? The three leaders of that unit on? last year were Gabe Judulali, Wesley Walker, and Jalen McCullough, and all three are gone now. So it's uh, – I just saw it on the message board. I was about to say it. What if it's Boo Carter? What if he steps in as a freshman and is just ready to take over? Ready for my prediction? Yep. I haven't made you, I haven't made you this big of a prediction since, um, gosh, I guess, Nico. Um, when I told you he was real, I'm messing with my lighting here for those on the YouTube channel, hit like, and subscribe. Um, I, I think, I think he starts day one. I think he starts a strong safety day one. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I think Boo Carter starts at day one. I'm thinking there might be some, like, do you think there's Eric Berry level readiness for him? Whoa. I mean, that's, that's a big one. Not Eric uh, Berry potential, but Eric because Eric Berry was ready to start day one, and and John Chavis and Larry Slade decided let's start Gerard Parrish over him against Cal. Still one of the worst decisions ever made in the history of personnel decisions in Tennessee football. Like that's worse than Joe Milton over Hinton Hooker, honestly. Um, but what Rocky Tom is uh, posting the message board, Boo is apparently already impressing the coaching staff massively. Yeah, I've been told that as well uh, repeatedly, and Dylan saying Turrentine needs to take the leadership role since he's the veteran. Now, I would agree, but you're, you're kind of either born with that or you're not. And Dylan, I hope you get to feeling better. 
Um, so Dylan's been a little bit under the weather. I was on the message board earlier this morning. I'm going to be on earlier from time to time, get your thoughts on uh, the direction of the show and what you want to talk about. Uh, but now the deep here's, here's my issue that I have with the NCAA and uh, it's a reoccurring issue is they're, they're, they're still stupid. Uh, that's the issue because here's the deal with this uh, D Williams. He played in 2020. You're supposed to have an extra year of eligibility unless you're a Juco player. So the COVID year is not applicable. Wow. So that doesn't count. So if you play Juco, it doesn't, it, it, it's the COVID exception is not applicable. Right. I didn't know that until I, I just dug either. into that. That is ridiculous. What the hell that kind is of so stu- ridiculous. Excuse my language. What kind of stupid, absolutely stupid rule is that? So the guys that are working their hardest to get through junior college that has a weight room that's complete trash, you have no facilities, but you're working your way up because maybe you didn't get the grades or whatever, and you work your way up and you don't get your extra year because of COVID. Really? Do you think he could have appealed that maybe and tried to fight it? Well, it, I don't know. He, he may have been ready to go. I don't know. His maybe, grades. But that's the thing. Maybe it was like he decided he's a it wasn't a college player and I don't know his grades. Maybe he's not a school guy. Maybe it, or, or it could have been. Yeah, it's just not worth the fight. Like you covered the Dante Stallworth thing, which was, again, the NCAA not looking out for a player at all who had a dinner with an agent like what one time. Right. Didn't even make a yes. decision. And and the NCAA says you and I, I think Stallworth wanted to consider appealing that, but just w- didn't want to go through all the fight. Was like it might, might as well focus on the draft now that I've done it. Well, um, then he ended up um, he got a four game suspension, right? And they said he come could come back for that. No, I and think he, he just no. He, they they let they told him he could have a four game suspension, which was still stupid. Which didn't make oh, any so sense. Stupid. So yes. now. Uh, NCAA is uh, being pushed out of college football, which sounds weird, but I think it's great. Hit like and subscribe. Guess what, kids? Josh Ward will join us next, and uh, we'll get a, a get his thoughts on Gabe Judy Lolly and D. Williams as well. Plus, Josh has the list of players that performed in the Citrus Bowl at such a high level they can be expected to be uh, superstars, and I think that might uh, happen very soon. So, Josh with a piece on offthehooksports.com. So if you had to predict right now who is Tennessee's starting five, because we include the nickel, um, in in Tennessee secondary. Jordan Matthews, Ricky Gibson at cornerbacks, um, Boo Carter at strong safety. I'm going to go uh, Jacoby Thomas, the MTSU transfer at free safety, and I might say they move Andre Tarantino over to nickel. I'm going to that that's that's going to be my my guess, but we'll see. I, I still haven't seen enough to believe in Andre Tarantino. I'll say that. Lee, could you not get something together for Gabe Judy Lolly? Could you not get something? I think Tennessee was caught in the perfect storm where they built themselves as an NILU and they had to pay their guys like Cooper and Brew and Keenan Pilly to stay around and they didn't have money to spend more in the transfer portal. <laughs>